the on our procedure. Yes, this is going to be by a person who is a retired Indian Administrative Service Officer with 34 years of vast experience. Throughout his tenure, he served in various government sec sectors, including urban development finance and environment. Notably, he has held significant positions such as Joint Municipal Commissioner and Additional Municipal Commissioner in Mumbai, Municipal Commissioner of Thane City and Metropolitan Commissioner in Mumbai. His trends lie in public policy analysis and infrastructure execution. He has been able to raise financial resources of USD 4285 million from agencies like ADB, uh, JICA, KFW, AIIB, and NDB. In MMRDA, he has also created a new organization, namely Maha Mumbai Metro Operation Corporation Limited for operation and maintenance of metro, metro services which are being constructed now. He's truly a man of passion and dedication. He is uh, Mr. R. A. Raji, former ex-Metropolitan Commissioner, Mumbai. Everybody, please put your hands together as he comes up for the presentation. Yeah, <clears throat> it's very difficult to uh, hold the attention of the audience in the post-lunch session and that too after two very heavy technical presentations. So I'm not going to, uh, because I'm not myself an engineer, so I'll not go in the my weaker field of talking about engineering or technical issues. But yes, I'll be talking about enhancing commuter experience in metros, how we can do, apart from the softwares we were talking about, which are user friendly, which we can interface with the commuters on day to day uh, for their ease to uh, travel in metros. But uh, there are much more than uh, that to uh, making metros very, very commuter friendly and uh, uh, so that the people, because, because uh, metro, uh, this thing, revolution is going on in India at present and most of the people have to change their habits of leaving their cars and going by metros. Why should they do that? If they do not have the same level of comfort, if they do not have the same level of ease, of entering and exiting these stations, they do not have the same nice experience of traveling in metros, they will not come to your metros. So uh, we in um, MMRDA, when I was Metropolitan Commissioner, uh, sometimes what is your uh, problem, you can convert that into your opportunity and pandemic period and lockdown periods, we converted into opportunity of thinking and planning about how to make metro services more commuter friendly. And that's how this idea of branding Mumbai Metro came to our mind. So we started talking about it. We had so many, like more than, more than 20, 25 uh, virtual meetings on it. All the officers during lockdown period were sitting in their homes, but we were talking about it, how to make, how to brand our metro and how to present it as a service at one go, so that from station to station, place to place, if a new commuter, an old commuter, if he moves around different places, he doesn't feel at all uh, that he is new to the metro services. And everywhere he has the same type of experience and that is ultimately should be very, very pleasant experience. So this is how we came up with our brand philosophy. It focuses basically, as, as I have already said here, creating the brand appeals in the people. Basically, it creates a voice and personality. The branding of uh, Metro services will create a br per voice and personality which has got human characteristics. It makes a human char characteristics and which interacts finally with the commuter on day-to-day -day life which the commuter feels during actual travel experience, behavior of his staff, attestations, signages, design elements, pricing, P 
PR, art installations, advertising, signboards, etc. Here I'll stop for a moment. I'll say I've gone to a few metros in India as well as abroad. Some of the stations have been done with very nice art installations. In Lucknow also I saw very interesting stations where art installations were done and all, and whole stations were, station was painted in a particular artistic form. It was a very good experience per se, in a standalone basis. But, but if you go from station to station, a commuter who is in a hurry to go to his uh, destination or who is in a hurry to go to home, he, he, what he needs is needs a very good signages. He needs the signage where he has seen at the last station. He should see at this station also that the sign is at the right place, same place. All the other uh, facilities like uh, your uh, station furniture, your uh, ticketing windows, your uh, exit and entry things will be all in a particular way, particularly branded, color coded and all. So this is how we uh, try to do it. Uh, in uh, Mumbai Metro. So we created a vision of it to connect places within MMR and provide people with the most delightful commuting experience. Now, here, uh, most of the railway authorities, because railway officers, uh, without whom we cannot implement metros in India. So hats off to the railway officers, railway knowledge uh, of those officers who have been helping the urban administration in implementing metros in India. But at the same time, can anyone tell which is the biggest difference between culture of railways and culture of metro? Can anyone tell? Okay, I'll not take your much time because I know uh, a lot of people have to speak about it. We could have made it more interacting. I could have asked questions to you. But to my mind, the, the biggest difference between railways and metro is that in railways you move trains, in metro we move people. That's the difference. And it is this difference with which metro authorities have to create their metro services, have to make it more user friendly and it is here that the Indian railways differ from metro of different cities. So how much commuter friendly you make metros? It's there that the whole success of Metro lies. So apart from vision, we made the mission that to provide a seamless, safe, comfortable, faster, and most modern uh, mode of transport. This is what uh, we did. I'm, I'll not stop. Now, coming to the branding of Metro. Here, what is the brand soul? Committed to in improving the quality of travel of every Mumbai car. That, that is something which we decided that uh, if you are leaving, we, we expect that people should leave their car and come to metros. So if we are not providing the same level of comfort to him, he will never come to metro, he will never shift to metro. He will still go by his own car and all. So that travel experience we need to improve. And this is how we came up with our core values, set high standards, self-sufficiency, innovativeness, humane, equality, environmental consciousness, understands commuters' needs. To do that, th these are the facts about our metro network. I'll go ahead of it because there is a lot to be covered here. What are the benefits? Convenience, saves time, comfortable, sustainable, safe and secure. Everybody knows here who are sitting here. So I, I need, need not cover those things. But brand, sorry. Brand well, voice and personality, what it should be. It should be modern. It, it should be modern, it should be efficient but caring, expert, reliable, friendly and approachable. These are the core values with which we started branding our services in uh, uh, Mumbai Metro. <coughs> so we thought about from the consumer point of view, start your journey. When the consumer starts, commuter starts his journey, he comes either by bus or by auto or by car or by cycle or by whatever means walking. Then he will, when he enters the station, he should have, should not have, should not feel lost when he is entering the station.
he should be told properly where he has to go, which side he has to go to go to north or south, uh, which platform he has to take. So all the signage is access, entrance, circulation, everything has to be uh, properly uh, guided to him. And then he, his journey to uh, the welcome where he should immediately get the ticketing uh, counter, where the ticketing counter should be located and then where he should be guided if he needs any washroom facility, he should be guided to that. Or then if he wants to go from concourse to platform level, which side, ha side he should go and all. So here, the whole principle which we adopted was follow the line. Because its metro is always a line. You are going by line 4, line 5, line 6, or red line, or blue line, or uh, yellow line. So we said that follow a line. And as it is, in Mumbai, we have done elevated metros. So all the pillars in metros have become new addresses in the city because there are pillar numbers. So now people meet each other and they say that, okay, line 7, 11th pillar. So 7 by 11 will meet at 7 by 11. So they meet at 7 by 11. This is as a new address. So all these metro lines beneath that, the color coding has been done, which shows you that it is the red line, it is the yellow line in all. So all those color codings have been done and signages have also been uh, devised accordingly of that. Is the concept which visually manifests through the visual identity and design of wayfinding signages. So by colors, by natural nature of physic, physical support, graphic formatting and architectural staging. You will not believe during lockdown time, I still remember that we had done the mock-up on a station. We said that I will be coming. People said that sir, it's a lockdown. You cannot go and do that. So he said, no, no, we'll go. We are constructing hospital also. We'll do this also. So we went and it was very easy to that time to move also on the roads and all. So we did, we, we saw all this mock-up and changed the fonts, changed the design of the uh, signages and all. And completely from the commuter point of view, we used to enter this station thinking about what a commuter wants. When he wants to enter this station, what he needs, what are his needs and what will he require. And from that point of view, the whole station designing was done. And if you see this, if you go to Mumbai Metro station, any station, all stations, signages and all, you will be able to see all stations, names on a particular station will be written, which side is which station will be written and it becomes very easy for him to go through. Very clearly here, uh, uh, there are two colors used. One color is the line color, which is either red or green. Uh, red color, here we are giving example of red line. And the other one has been used is a black background. Why black background? We discussed it a lot about it and said that black is the fashion of Bollywood. And it is Mumbai. So let us have a black color in the background and then we'll have all the colors in that. So it, it tells about that also. It's that type of branding which we decided. So uh, the exit will always have the green patch and on written exit or buyer on green. So that was also decided. So a commuter who cannot read will also see a green color patch and will go towards that because it is a exit of that station. So that type of color coding and namesake everything was thought of and done that way. Even outside the station, the multimodal integration which Mumbai Metro has tried out, down below every station, there is a bus stop, there is a taxi stop, there is a cycle stand, there is a public bike sharing stand, there is an auto stand. All these stands have been integrated with that and below the station all these signages are shown properly. So this way, uh, the first and last mile connectivity in future, which is I, I agree fully with you that uh, today it is not happening 100%, but gradually it will happen. Uh, with that, we, we were not uh, anti-art or anti-art establishment or anti-artist artist things. We also decided about art installations on stations. Uh, a museum strategy was also done about a metro museum when it will be done and the souvenir shops and all. 
So for that also, we, we have uh, in our branding manual, we did that. The branding manual which has come up now, the one uh, was inaugurated by Honorable Prime Minister, the, uh, the second volume was inaugurated by the Chief Minister, and both these volumes together, now in future any metro station has to be done, no one has to t uh, think about anything else but to follow that brand uh, manual and implement the station designs at any place. So it is all, every details of it, every square inch of the station has been planned there in that, is, that thing, that way. And I'm glad to say that this design got India's best design project award also for 2022. We have got that. And it was uh, in collaboration with Sistra from uh, France. And there is one, uh, another design agency which is from Pune. So these two agencies worked with that and uh, we, we got this award for that. So, and I, I'm, uh, I'm happy to tell you that even Bollywood personalities like uh, the two personalities which traveled there, one was Hema Malini herself, she tweeted about it herself and said that it doesn't look like uh, less than an airport station. So it's that type of uh, uh, feeling which people are having once they go to the station and they feel about it. And this was inaugurated, this branding manual was inaugurated by Honorable Prime Minister. Thank you so much. Can I call Shri S. Shivamathan here on the stage to felicitate Mr. Tilok Sasodia? Thank you. Hearties, congratulations and uh, uh, thank you so much for being here. Mr. Sodia. Thank you. A huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen.